Hi there. Today I'm going to talk um, very briefly about elements and how to get their names, their charges, uh, so you know what to do with them in this very geometry situation. All right, so if you see something like boron nitrate or something, you need to know what boron is and what its charge is. So you find it on here. There's the word boron, B-O-R-O-N. There's the letter B. And what we know about it is that if it's one, two, three columns over, then that means that it has a charge of plus three. How do we know that? That's a different video, but we can talk briefly about it now. The electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. The outer shell then will have two in the s, one in the p, that's three in the outside shell. How many electrons do, as does every element in the periodic table really want to have in the outside shell? Eight, that's right. So boron has a choice. You can either try to find another five electrons to fill up to eight, so it would be like neon, or it can try to find a way to lose the three that it has, so it will become positive three and end up looking like helium on the outside. Um, for reasons we don't need to go into right now, it will lose those three electrons and it will be positive three. Same with every other element in this column. So the general rule is these all lose one and become positive one. These all lose two and become positive two. We're going to skip these for a minute. These all lose three and become positive three. We'll skip these for a minute. These guys are all perfect. They have eight in their outside shell. They don't do anything. So they don't bond or they don't become charged. These guys all have seven in the outside shell. They want eight, so they'll gain one more electron, which makes them all have a negative one charge. These guys will all gain two electrons. So they'll all have a negative two charge. These guys will all have six, five electrons in the outside shell and will therefore gain three and become negative three. These guys do a lot of weird things. They frequently go, go positive four, negative four, positive two, because they can lose these two p electrons. So just real quick summary, positive one, positive two, positive three, positive or negative four, or maybe positive two. Negative three, negative two, negative one. These guys do not get charged. What about these in the middle and these guys down there? They're most likely going to be positive two, but once in a while they'll do something different. So you have to look to see if there's a Roman numeral near their name. Frequently you'll see iron, Fe, with a little Roman numeral two next to it. That means that it's iron two, which has a positive two charge. If you see um, iron 3, which has a Roman numeral 3 after the symbol, that means that it's a positive 3 charge. All right, then the last thing you need to know are your polyatomic ions. Those are groups of atoms stuck together that when they're all bonded together, they're nice and stable, but they have a charge. You were given a list of them that you need to memorize about two months ago, so hopefully you had your flashcards and you're working on those because that's... Uh, that's something rings to know. Okay, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching and goodbye.